Hi guys, so for today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I clean my makeup brushes. I only use two things and they're both cheap and easy to get your hands on. So I hope you enjoy this video. Just bear in mind that I'm not a makeup artist so I only need to clean my brushes for myself. But if you are a makeup artist or use your brushes on other people then you really need to take care of them and clean them properly because for health and safety reasons it's important. But I hope you enjoy the video. So these are my makeup brushes. As you can see, I don't have like an awful lot. I just have what I need. Um, I have a set that I really, really want and I am waiting to get it. So I'm gonna show you how I wash my brushes and I hope you enjoy the video. I don't know what that was. I tied up my hair because I don't want it in my face. Um, my makeup is like wearing off from today. So I use the Johnson's Baby Shampoo to clean my brushes. It's cheap and cheerful and works really well with cleaning out the product. I've also tried the Primark brush cleaner but I wasn't a fan so I tend to stick to the baby shampoo. So as you can see here my brushes are quite dirty. When I actually filmed this I had done a clown makeup look the night before so that'll tell you how long I've had this footage for but I'm finally getting to upload it. So this is my t secret weapon. It is a sponge and as you can see it has a smooth side and a textured side. So the textured side gives the brushes something to work against which will work the product up into the brush and break down the makeup that is on them and then it will clean them out better. It's really good for dense brushes and they're cheap and easy to get your hands on. So what I do with the sponge is I take it underneath the tap and I use lukewarm water. I wouldn't use hot or cold, just in between. And I just basically dampen that sponge. And then I'm taking this eye brush. This is just a kind of crease brush and it's dirty, as you can see. And I take a bit of that baby shampoo and I place it roughly into one of the ridges. And that just gives me a rough idea of how much baby shampoo I need each time. And then I dampen the brush underneath the tap and I face the brush downwards that the water doesn't go up into the brush and damage it and as you can see here when I first lathered up the soap the foam was really really dirty but as you keep doing it it eventually goes whiter which means that your brushes are being cleaned and I alternate between the textured side and the smooth side to give the brush something different to work against and just to give it a better clean then I squeeze it out and make sure all the water is almost gone and then I just rub it around on a towel to clean it off a little bit and dry it and then I stand it up against my bath. The next brush I'm taking is a contour brush from Crown Brush UK and again used for blush, bronzer, contour and I do the exact same thing. I put it underneath the tap and dampen it and then I take some shampoo and I lather it up against the sponge and as you can see my brush was fairly dirty. Now you will have to go in every now and again, rinse out the sponge and apply new shampoo naturally because you're not going to get one use out of the shampoo to clean all your brushes like let's be real but as you can see from this brush the foam is uh, slowly going whiter and whiter and this brush is actually white so you can see the difference that that made um, it won't be spotless because naturally it's been used with products but what I do when I'm drying my angled brushes is I get a hair clip and clip it so that it stays angled while drying now this brush here is the stippling brush from Real Techniques and I know it is a big challenge for lots of people to clean because it's really dense and the foundation just tends to get really, really stuck into it. I don't know what it is. It's just because it's so dense and it just tends to build up. But this, like literally, this technique gets the brush so clean. This is why I stand by this technique because honestly, before this, I used to never use my stippling brush because I could never get it clean. And that just puts me off using a brush. But now I use it all the time because thanks to this technique, I can get it clean. Now again with this brush, because it is so dense and it's used for foundation, there's lots of product on it. So you will have to go in and rinse out the sponge every now and again. But the textured side just works the soap up into the brush and allows the foundation to be broken down. And as you can see there, it has made like a massive difference. It's basically spotless and like new. Honestly, if you're having trouble with this brush, use this technique and I promise you it will help. Um, I was so surprised with it and that's why I stick by this technique. I use it all the time now. So again, this is another one of my favourite foundation brushes. This is the F20 from Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I use it pretty much every single day. 
but again it's a very densely packed brush it's a kabuki brush so um it's harder to clean like the stippling brush but um this technique again look, works really well with it um so i take a lots of shampoo for this one because it has a lot of product build up and i use the same technique i basically go in and out rinsing the sponge adding more soap lathering it up rinsing it again and i basically stay doing it until the foam is clear and then i know that my brush is clean this one is a flat concealer brush and I actually had black eyeliner on it this day but this um, sponge works really well cleaning out the concealer brushes. I find with my hand it used to never work, like never at all. But now that is something to work against, it really breaks down the product and works really well with cleaning out concealer, eyeliner brushes, lip brushes, all that sort of thing. So this one is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Again, a hard one for me to clean. With my hands, these brushes used to just never be cleaned. They would never work for me because I had nothing for it to work against. And it was just flat surface and I was just at nothing. But this technique works so well. So that is basically how I clean my makeup brushes. Um, I didn't show you all the eye brushes because I do the same technique. And I didn't want you guys to get bored. But I hope it was helpful it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something from it um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave any requests down below and subscribe and all that jazz social media and all that is in the info bar and thank you so so much for watching bye